So I'm going to do a little experiment. I've picked up one of Academy's new, um, basically, clipped together kits. This is a, a 172 scale F16, and it's um, as it says there on the on the bottom, no glue, no tools, no paint. Um, I'll give you a quick look what it is, and I'll explain what I'm going to do with it. So here we've got the sprues, okay, and. Basically, like I said, it's 172, so it's a decent size, but actually the, um, the detail, I hope you can see that on the camera, the, the surface detail is actually really, really good. Uh, it's all recessed. There's rivets, believe it or not, so it's going to be able to hold a wash quite well. Um, did have one issue, the, one of the missile rails has broken a little bit, a bit of glue, it'll be fixed, no problem. Um, so yeah, basically it's a snap together kit. See, there's the... There's the, uh, the parts for snapping it together. So that's the, the top, here's the bottom. So there's the, the bottom of the kit. Um, again, beautiful recessed panel lines there, no problem at all. Uh, and on the tail, and yeah, everything just snaps together. It doesn't get much easier than that. This, is, this, this kit's really for, for kids or beginner modelers who, you know, just want to throw something together. Um, so basically that's the only two sprues, and then you get uh, a little, um, that's the nose, it just clips on, and that's the cockpit tub, and then we get the, the nozzle, which just slips in, which is great because I can just paint that separately and put it in, and we get a very rudimentary seat uh, and instrument panel. Not much really to write home about there. And the final two sprues, I haven't taken this out of it, but they get a one-piece canopy. Okay, so that just clips straight on. And my favourite, <laughs> they give you a flight stand. It's designed to be in flight. So, um, yeah, that'll be good. Now, what have I got planned for this? Well, I am going to do it out of the box. Oh, last thing, they give you stickers. No decals, it's stickers. Okay. What I intend to do with this one is... I'm going to use it as a experiment to try to paint the Hellenic Air Force, half or the Greek Air Force F-16s, which are notoriously get extremely dirty. So I'm doing this as an experiment, throw the kit together and build a Greek F-16 and practice the painting of it. And if I'm happy with it, I might get a bigger scale one <coughs> Excuse me, long, um, down the track. Now to that end, I've got a... Um, 172 scale spare pilot that I've painted. I bought this little $3 or $4 add-on. It's a quick boost. Um, the Greeks have a longer parachute housing on the tail, so that's just a little resin piece that just slips over. Pretty, pretty easy to do. And I've got some spare Greek decals from a, from a Corsair kit. So I'll just use these randals and some of the actual proper uh, aircraft spare decals, you know, the ejection seat marks and all sort of stuff. So before I start assembly, what I've done is I've um, had a little bit of paint to the cockpit there, so as you can see, I've just uh, done a little bit of XF-19, um, Ghost Grey, and a little bit of NATO Black for the instrument panel. I added a piece of, you can see the lights catching there, a little piece of acetate, um, just to resemble the, the HUD. I'll see if it fits, it may not fit with the canopy there. Just simple mod. And then with the uh, with the instrument panel, I've added a couple of spare decals I had lying around. This is from a 148 Raptor, I think, and just added a little bit of um, green to the screens to make it look like there's a the HUDs are working. And then the cockpit tub itself, oops, there goes a little pilot. Again on the um, on the the sides there, I just added some some decals. Just painted the, the seat, added a few little decals on the side, I'll swing that around so you can see there. Okay. Um, yeah, just to and just to add a bit of colour. I've got my pilot here, I've had to give him a bit of a trim so he can actually fit in, but he fits in there fairly fairly nicely. Oops, where are we? Okay. And um, I haven't glued him in yet because I want to see if he actually fits inside before we go ahead. So with that done, it's time to start cutting up pieces and assembling. Well there it is, it didn't take very long did it? <laughs> That's the basic airframe assembled, um, you know, not much to report really, it goes together quite well, there's, yeah, there's a, you can see a seam here which I might just, on the back bit, which I might um, 
Let's see if the camera's picking that up. Is yeah, we might might just put a little bit of glue in there just to just to give that a little bit of filler. Just because when I push it together, maybe give it another trim to fit it. But anyway, um, so yeah, that's gone together really easily. I've test fitted the the canopy. Uh, this one piece canopy goes on there like that. Um, I'm not going to click it in just yet because I'm going to mask it and that's got a that's got a nasty seam down, down the middle so I'll get rid of that. So what's left to do now is as you can see I haven't put the tail on yet because I need to do uh, the just the modification to the to the, the housing at the rear so I'll just do that. Um, I've got that broken missile rail there so the other one looks like that so I'm just going to remove that that, uh, that part there, so it's a flush missile rail. Do the same with this side, glue the, the broken bit back on. Gonna take these nubs off for the for the thing, for the um, under, under wing missiles, because I'm not gonna fit those. And then here, there's a fuel tank, so for that one, all I'm gonna do is, it comes in um, two pieces, two halves, this half, this half, and this half, but all I'm gonna do is just um, get a saw in there and I just want that rail see that rail there and we'll just attach that underneath it's all built there it is okay on its nice flight stand um, it just goes up into the into the nozzle there right so all I had to do was just fill in those um, fill it I had to take off those pegs there on the under underneath the wings modify the fuel tank which was um, molded on as you saw before into just a, a um, a strut like that because that's most of the Greek ones I've seen just have that center line strut there um, and of course the major one was putting on this resin uh, parachute housing there's a little parachute in the back there it's not the best fit in the world because it's you know it's designed for a Tamiya kit much better quality and molding and so forth but yeah that that actually took longer than it did to build the whole the whole thing um, the nose here it just oh, it's technically comes off so I'll paint that separately and just whack it on and then the last thing to do was the canopy it had a nasty seam down the middle so I scratch that off and polish it up I'd probably give it another another dip maybe one more polish just to do it but there we are all done so next stage is I'm going to get on to um, masking the canopy up and we'll prime this and we'll get stuck into the reason I bought it which is to do some painting 